All right, everybody. All right, everybody. So, um, this is your boy Chad Nixon, and today I want to make a video on Rashid's problems. So, I have reached uh, master rank with Rashid on modern controls, and I just want to explain to you guys how hard this character uh, is uh, just to use in some of his shortcomings and problems. Also, if I sound different, that's because I can't be, uh, use my main microphone right now. I cannot find the cord for it for some reason, so. This is my backup microphone, so I might not sound the best. However, that is not going to stop my points whenever it comes to talking about Rashid. First off, um, people who already, you know, have played this character, like he's almost been out for a week now, probably already can see, or probably already knows, his normals are like mad stubby. Like, dog. I didn't even do that, but like, who are you hitting? Oh god, okay, hold on, let me use the d-pad. Dog, who... Are you hitting with this normal, bruh? Brother. Okay, so first of all, his lights suck. <laughs> but you know what? They're lights, whatever, you know? Uh, Luke will hit from here, but that's because he advances forward. Okay, cool, whatever. Uh, so, what about his mediums? How good are his mediums? Dog. This crouching has a width in so many situations. Like, do you see this? brother like bro like compare that to Ryu's or Ken's it's not happening now something that I do think that he has is this move this move is pretty good um because he walks forward a little bit whenever he uses it so you don't have to be perfect spacing it um all the time which thank god because he needs it and then also this move is actually pretty good I know it looks very slow trust my word it's actually pretty good um this move it's not good on its own, but if used after this move, it can catch a lot of people lagging. Um, and same for this. Um, so first off, his normals are not very good. Um, and that sucks because uh, his neutral is a bit iffy. You're like, wait a minute, he has a lot of neutral skip tools. Like he has the cartwheel into this. And he has, and he has, like look at that. And he also can do this. Um, and blah, 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 blah. Right? It looks all cool and dandy on paper, but all of these can be checked red, like just extremely easily. Um, like doing this, you're locked out of moving unless you want to spend meter for a movement option, um, which 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 doesn't guarantee anything. That's stupid um, to do. Like, why would I? Like, oh yeah, I get to move faster, but that's not gonna stop you from getting DP or anti air. Do you know what I mean? Um, and. Even if it trades, you actually lose the trade because you did a special move, so it counts as a force knockdown. You like hello? Um, now, thankfully, his advantage state is pretty good. Um, on also on the surface, because uh, you have to learn a lot of setups with him. So, first thing people might not realize is this: if you roll after um, on the heavy version, it's plus one. Pretty good, right? Cool. And if you do this, you get all, you, you know, like he says mix up, you get, a, you get a mix up, right? No, all of these, all of these options <laughs> um, can be checked. Again, even on best case scenario when it trades, or if you try to use the faster version, you're just gonna get outright beat. Right? Now, in uh, what you call it, um, in some cases you should be okay. Oh, that gets hit too! But, what Rishi can do is use heavy. But, you know, um, like, say if they have a character like Kami or like any character like Jamie with like a good jab, it's not happening. So, in order to get this mix up, quote unquote mix up, in, you know, set up in quotation marks, is first you have to hit the opponent, right? So, uh, let's just give a basic example. So, first you have to hit the opponent, and then let's just do a. Uh, uh, crouch and light punch. Okay, cool. Right? So, let's say that you just got done doing this combo and you're like, how can I make this mix up true? Right? So, the best thing to do, actually, it's not give him a, a wake up option, actually, now I think about it. It's not very smart to do. Um, so, the best thing that you can do is this. So, first you want to jab. Okay, because jab is a total of 14 frames, so that burns the frames, right? And then you want to. Jab throughout the move, then you might get a mix up. I believe. Let me see. All right, let me see real quick if I got this right. Mm. 
Yeah, see? Because it combos, which means it's true. So if they don't block that, this is what happens. Like, say if he uh, does the crouching heavy punch now. Also, that, that's also an issue. They can just roll back. <laughs> which I was going to showcase later, but look, jab. And then if you dash, you can try, but it, it's just not happening. So this is only if they don't roll back. There you go. So that's one way of making a mix up, and then the and then the other way uh, is um is it, um is any time that you use the heavy version of this move right here. Um, because every time that you do that, you can get a meaty. Let's see. Um, right, this bop bop bop. Yeah. So, uh, so that's actually pretty good. But everything else sucks. Like you would think. Oh, da 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 da. Well, guess what? If they jump. Uh, they can hit you on top because you're vulnerable, so you're wrecked. If they parry, you're wrecked. If they throw a projectile, you're wrecked. And you're like, okay, well, you know, well, I can jump. They can just jump, and guess what? They can move sooner than you do. They can anti air that. Oh, oh, but eagle kick, eagle kick. That's actually pretty good with with uh, the whirlwind up. Pretty good. Guess what? If they jump, it's over. His neutral skip options aren't actually neutral skip options. And don't get me started on this wall jump. It's not doing anything. <laughs> Um, right, so, you know, and then let's not mention, this takes a total of 88 frames to get out. That's over a second, it's almost two seconds. Just to do the move. Your opponent can be doing anything in that amount of time, literally anything in that amount of time, right? So, that's another thing, um, also, is that don't rely on his neutral skip options like this, and, because against a good player, they're not truly uh, neutral skip options whatsoever. Then this move. Your opponent can just walk up and hold parry, and you can't do anything. You, you can't do anything about it. Um, I mean, thankfully, that's still an advantageous um, you know, thing for you. But I've encountered a master rank. All people do is like they walk up towards the middle, they either block it, or they just hold a parry. And you can't grab while somebody's like uh, um, parrying and getting hit by the nano because I'd be messed up, obviously. Um, yeah, like there's nothing that you can do about it. So that sucks. Now, thankfully, um, once I can get his mix-up game going, it's pretty well. But everything else about him sucks. His anti-air don't. His anti-air sucked. It's not even. A Guys, let me show you this. Did you know? Unlike every other anti-air in the game, including Luke's. Everybody else is DP. Do you want to know what it does? It doesn't matter how low that they touch you to the ground, you will anti air them. Right? Guys, if you don't you do his um his spinning mixer like extremely early, look at that. Counter hit. Look at this. Counter hit. I still got counter hit. I did it earlier that time. Look how early I have to react to this, bro. Oh, we got it. We got it. Like, bro, it's just not. It's not. Now look what happens in the same situation when I choose Luke. <laughs> and this is what with uh, what you call it with one button DPS. By the way, this guy is not DLC. All right, guys, look at this real quick. And every other character has this: Jerry, Luke, everybody. Look how deep in he was. His bro, he was already. Hitting me by then. Look at this. Look at this, bro. Look how. Do you see how consistent this is? Why? Look how, bro. Do you see how deep he is inside of my like model? Do you see? Why doesn't Rasheed get the same treatment with with his main anti? That makes no sense. That doesn't make any sense, and I just I just don't understand it. So his anti airs are pretty atrocious. Like, people can usually just jump in it, and it, you know, unless, like, you're a god at reacting, it's not fucking happening. Um, because you have to do it mad early, like, extremely early. And did you know, it's not fully invincible? <gasps> you mean, like, every other DP? Yes, bro. Did you know, if a jump in hits him directly above him, he falls out of this damn loop? Hello, Havcom? Hello? What? That makes him- why? Why? Maybe they was like his offense is, is is too strong. It's not yo. It's not even better, in my personal opinion. 
He has mix-ups. Cool. That take a hot minute to set up. DJ, Luke, they have better they have better offense than Rashid in my personal opinion. Like, um, like DJ's fireball is absolutely ridiculous. Being able to drive uh you know to drive behind it is absolutely ridiculous. Now he does have one nice thing about his fireball, and that's um that like you know um like you can control it. Pretty cool, right? Do you realize it's a total of fifty-two frames? You know how many times I get jumped in against this, and you can't do anything about it because it's fifty-two frames. Look at this. This is the fastest I can do this. Dog. Okay, so like you know, uh, now if you think that now if you think that they're gonna jump, you can preemptively do this, but it has to be preemptive. You're not gonna react and do this. You're gonna get hit out of it. Uh, let me see if I can show that right now. Hold on. Wait, look. See? Because it just it like it just curves underneath the character, right? So like you have to preemptively think that they're gonna jump. And even then, I did it before he jumped, it still missed. So it's a very like particular uh spacing to get like that. Which is just not worth it half the time. Right? Um So that can be pretty annoying. Um, so I just mostly use it from like back here. Sometimes it doesn't even poke because it curves up. So sometimes all I want is just for them to block and I can get a little bit of their uh, drive gauge, right? Look at that. Um, you, like you know, or sometimes do this if they're about to be like, you know, burnt out or something, right? No, I can't even do that. Then, let's not, let's talk about how we all got baited with this move. This is minus, I mean, 36. Total of 76 frames. Even on EX, 36, right? You're right. Yo, and this can be punished too if they parry or jump, right? But hey, this is a lot safer, a lot better. Cool. Bro, normally, this move, it, this it, it's not real. It's, it's not an actual move. It's not like Ihondo or Blanca Ball. This is getting punished. Uh, because they can literally walk up and grab you, hit anything. They can hit a heavy button. Bro, some characters can literally jump after that, like jump in after you, and get a full combo. He has a lot of fake pressure, a lot of fake pressure, and um, and I'm pretty sure like that's why Capcom uh, um on the character select screen labels him as hard because he has a lot of stupid intricacies that you literally have to work around. Like, why do I have to, bro? Like after that one combo that I showed you guys earlier, right? Why do I have to jab here to get a meter frame kill thing when other characters can literally just do whatever they want to do and set up their game plan, you know? But I get understanding, like, you know, him um, and being, like, a harder character and stuff and all that. Understandable, have a good day, Capcom. However, they literally took tools away from the character, like, from the Street Fighter V version. I wasn't even, like, a super huge big fan um, of Street Fighter V, but hey, guys, uh, don't you guys know his, um, his wall jump, right? Cool, look, this character has a wall jump, and he can do, um, like, you know, his aerials out of it, and this out of it, which, wait, whoa, I can't do it all of a sudden, Hold on, let me just do a simple input, yeah, right, cool, right, it looks cool, again, all of this stuff can be checked, because, for some reason, only this first part has a hitbox, so once that's blocked, he, he's free to get air grabbed, thrown, anything you can possibly imagine, and you know he's lagging when he comes back down. <laughs> so it's just it's just it's just not happening for you know uh for your boy Rashid. Um so in Street Fighter 5 he used to be able to jump off of the wall and stay there for like you know a little bit but also like dash down like diagonal like look at my controller this way this way this way right and do something now his only option is to jump up so you know, like like you know he can either jump up and try to throw an aerial that's when it's like probably like light or something Okay. Or he can jump off this wall, do, uh, let me see. I think my controls are getting crossed up whenever I do it, so whatever, but yeah, you know? Oh, okay, so I have to do it the other way, because Capcom. Anyway, right? Looks all fine and dandy, it's not all fine and dandy. Like, he has a lot of stuff on the surface. You really have to play around this character's, um, ink, like just, uh, like what you call it, uh, weaknesses. His neutral game is absolutely atrocious, like one of the worst in the entire game. And um, I've been hearing some um, some really good players voice the exact same opinions of, hey, 
Then nobody is dropping their main for Rashid unless you're like a super huge Rashid fan. Now for me, I like the way that he plays in this game. Um, and I think he's fun to play. Very frustrating, but fun to play. Um, so that's why I play him. Uh, and plus I play him because I also spent $30 on the pack for this. For this. Um, in another video, I'll go over like, you know, his setups, his pros and stuff. But for now, he has a lot of cons. He's not touching top tier, and that's much I don't know that. I just, he's not, he's not a top tier character. And I didn't think it would be such a problem, but I'm in Cammy, who's a top tier? You know, Luke, DJ, Cammy, whoever you're going to toss up there and, in, in, you know, in top tier, y'all go ahead and do that. You know, Guy or whatever. He's not touching them, bro. He's not. Every, almost every character in this cast has at least some type of neutral skill tool, something. Something to help him out. Luke's fireball is way better than whatever the fuck this is. You know what I'm saying? And then and then his drive rush isn't as good as, you know, what you call it, bruh? As DJs or Jerry's, like, you're not gonna dash full screen and get this off. You know what I mean? He doesn't have it. Okay, like, he has a pretty average drive rush. So, usually from here is where you want to be drive rushing in. Like, from, like, right here. You know? And stuff. But, uh, like, you know, it's nice having the freedom of being all the way back here and just doing something absolutely ridiculous. You know, like, probably you can do... That doesn't even reach. You know? Like, you really gotta make this guy... Work! <laughs> you know how slow that is? Like, that's no approach. You, you don't get a combo off of it. Either. Then people are calling him a low damage character. Now, I play a modern, so, like, you know, all my characters are gonna be low damage. But even then! Even then! Even then, like, look how much damage this does on modern, right? 800. For a super. Alright. Now look how much damage this does normally. Oh. And I forgot the input. There it is. A thousand. Are you for real? Alright, what's his damage on this normally? Okay. 1,600, right? And then on the actual input, you're getting 2100. Cool! Cool beans, cool beans. Alright, what's Ryu's? Alright, you know, less than his, but that's because his is a projectile. Alright, cool beans. Alright, bro. What's the level... Actually, what is the level 2? Here it is. Which could also be charged. 2600. And a lot of people's level 2s are like this. Now, I get that his level 2 is mostly a utility super. But, um... Bro, even then, you're not getting good damage. <laughs> um, and with me on Modern, I have to reset the situation to neutral a hundred times and beat my opponent in neutral a hundred times to finally win the round. You know, whereas, you know, like other characters and stuff like that can just hit me four times and I'm dead, you know? Um, cool. Whatever. You know what? He needs some buffs. He needs some buffs. Because there is no way. There's no way. Um, and then can we talk about how his infinite drive rush combo doesn't even do life chip? What am I talking about? So, don't you know how when your opponent's burned out? Okay. Uh, I don't know. Like, you would do like a button into a special and into another button. And then that special move would chip the opponent down, right? Cool. You no, know, you, you want to know where she gets? He gets this. He gets this. Yo, if your opponent blocks this out, they're not taking any chip. Like, they have no incentive to for real, for real get out of this. Like, what mix are you going to do out of this? This? Like, did you know this can be mashed in between? And also, it's the heavy version that you want to do, right? Because that's the only plus one. Let's do block reversal, light punch. Look at this, guys. Do y'all see what I'm talking about? Brother. So, alright, well, what are you going to do, this? Oh, nope. Nope. That's it. Is You can maybe do- nope. You can't even do that. So, you're going to have to commit to, like, just jab, 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 something, right? And, and, um, and other characters will get way more off of that, right? So, you're either gonna jab after, which you can block high or low, or you're gonna grab. There's no mix when your opponent's doing this. There's no, like, there's, there's nothing. 
So this video has probably gone on for way too long. I'm talking about the problems about really um about Rashid, and in another video, I'll go over why I think he's um a great character and the stuff that I, you know that I like about him personally. But he has too many flaws to even touch top tier. I I'd put him on like the lower half of mid tier, maybe the middle of mid tier or something. Uh, that's just my personal thoughts. Um, let me guys know what you think. Uh, leave a like on the video if you want to see more Street Fighter 6 videos. Without further ado, this is Shad Next Day. Peace out. I just have to give my two cents on the topic. Thank you guys for watching. I also don't want to do, you know, uh, much editing right now. So, peace out.